All right, everybody, we have some more breaking news from the NFL. Of course, we were going to. It's the trade deadline, so there's going to be a lot of news, especially now that the trade deadline has gone and passed. We're going to do the final video of the day involving all the trades. There might be some more stuff to eke out later on, but I kind of highly doubt it. So we see, let's go ahead and jump right over to the trade tracker. We've seen that the Redskins have received safety HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix from the Packers for a 2019 fourth round pick. The Rams have received defensive end Dante Fowler for, from the Jaguars for a 2019 third, uh, third round pick and a 2020 fifth round pick. We'll go more into that in a minute. And then, of course, the other trade that has happened since the Demarius Thomas and uh, Golden Tate trade was running back Ty Montgomery has been received by the Ravens from the Packers following that debacle in L.A. where Montgomery was told not to run the ball out, but he did anyway and then fumbled it giving L.A. the victory over the Packers, not even with a chance for Mr. Aaron Rodgers to get his redemption or do his little comeback, I guess, whatever. But, um, yeah, so he wasn't – I also, something to note here is that the Patriots did not make another move for a big-name wide receiver like they were being rumored to do. There's just – nothing happened. I guess they were outbid on all fronts to get anybody. That's crazy. Uh, I didn't really expect the Patriots to be silent today. But it happened. I'll give this a quick refresh just to see maybe like something else has gone down. But I highly doubt it. Yep, that's the end of that. So we'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about, um, let's see. Yep, like I said, uh, the Packers are sending their talented, talented safety to the Redskins, giving the Redskins an immediate bolster to an already pretty dominant defense. It's just even better now, so that's good. They're getting a rental player that will help them keep that lead in the AFC or in the NFC East. Now that the uh, Eagles have acquired someone like Golden Tate, they needed to get another playmaker. So whatever about that. And uh, of course the Packers knew that Clinton Dix had already made it clear he wasn't going to resign. So they wound up trading him. So now Clinton Dix goes, you know, it's just a better situation. He goes to a team that's leading the division in for sure a playoff race from a Packers team that looks a little suspect. And at times, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so uh, let's see what else. Um, and in Clinton Dix to the secondary gives the Redskins the number, number two and number three rated safeties this season. So now the like this is a very dangerous Redskins football team now. Um, Clinton Dix has never missed a game in his career and started 55 straight regular season games in Green Bay. He has 378 tackles, 25 passes defended, 14 interceptions, five and a half sacks, and three forced fumbles in his entire career. He's a, he gets a rookie. He gets a new contract at the end of this year, so we'll see where he goes. Um, the Packers now, they were going to lose him. They're in a playoff position. It just, you know, they, they can feel like they got a mid-round draft pick for, out of it. You know, they didn't completely lose out on this whole thing. If they don't make the playoffs, th then it's kind of a busted season, and, and they don't get anything out of it. Now, if they don't make the playoffs, they get rid of Clinton Dix. They get something, and they now get to look at and see how good um, – J, uh, J.R. Alexander, Josh Jackson, and see how well, um, you know, uh, uh, Jermaine Whitehead and Jones do, like Josh Jones do as the safeties now alongside Control Bryce. Now that Clinton Dix is gone, the Packers are looking into the future. Um, they have to rely on the young guys. And then, of course, the Jet Rams have acquired pass rusher Dante Fowler for a, what was it, a third round pick in 2019 and a 2020 fifth round pick. Um, they outbid the Rams outbid the Jets and the Packers to get the guy just 30 minutes before the trade deadline. Uh, they were initially asking for at least a second round pick in exchange for their hot former high pick in Fowler. The Rams defense has its seventh, uh, former first round pick. Holy shit. The 2016 third overall pick joins Aaron Donald and Dama Kong Su, Michael Brockers, Akid Talib, Marcus Peters, and Mar uh, Mark Barron on a Super Bowl contending unit. Uh, piloted by defensive coordinator Wade Phillips. Those are all first round people that is now just on the Rams. Um, this is great for the Rams, of course, because now they have a, like a bona fide pass rusher. You know, it's just, it's crazy. Um, it's just, Fowler just couldn't find any playing time. Um, he's only played in 32.7% of Jacksonville snaps. He was very expendable. Like he didn't, they didn't need him. He has had some trouble with injuries and a little bit of like like personnel problems he's been drawing with reporters this year he um he violated the league's personal conduct policy and missed a game this year he had a torn acl 
his entire rookie season. So it's one of those things that like is whatever. The Rams, the Jags weren't going to be uh, picking up his fifth year option, so he's in a contract year. Rams wanted him for a pass rush reason, and now they got their guy, and uh, he's going to help hopefully contribute toward that undefeated season they're building toward. We'll see if that helps. Um, and now they can put – it's a good move all around for everybody, it seems. It seems like all of today's trades uh, helped everybody out. And, of course, um, some other news from around the league. Um, let me know what you think of all the trades down in the comment section below um, so that way we know – like what you think. I think everybody walked away with what they wanted. I don't think any team really got hosed. Um, the worst trade, of course, was the Amari Cooper trade. If you look at what everybody else was getting got for their trades and then you see what the hell the Raiders got for Amari Cooper, you're like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> So the only real losers of the trade deadline have been the Cowboys, in my opinion. But what do you think? Let me know down below. And also, let's go over some other quick news. The Seahawks have released wide receiver Brandon Marshall. Um, and, um, that's about the last bit of news. Um, of course that's, yeah. So, um, those are all the trades. Of course, we'll go over them really fast. The Rams have gotten Dante Fowler. Cl Clinton Dix was sent to the Redskins. Um, so that's Clinton Dix to the Redskins, uh, Dante Fowler to the Rams. Seahawks have released Brandon Marshall and the Mount Gum uh, Ty Montgomery was sent to the Ravens. And of course, Golden Tate to the Eagles and Demarius Thomas, to the Texans. What a weird day, but of course, it's always going to be weird on the trade deadline days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoy the news, and um, subscribe if you're new here. Leave a comment what you think of the video and like the, like all the trades. I'll continue the conversation with you down there. Um, other than that, have a great day and uh, keep take it easy, I guess, or keep uh, keep on keeping on. I think I don't I don't know. Bye.